thank you so much. It's so kind. Hey guys, what's going on? Justin Potts, Nasty Silver. We're here in front of the GameStop Market Street in San Francisco. This is the flagship store for GameStop. I just found this shit out like a week ago. You see the line is here for Injustice Gods Among Us, a new fighting game. So a few people we see cosplaying so far, so I'm pretty excited. We got this guy with like a paper green lantern mask. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that guy. I'm really excited. I can't wait to start getting some interviews behind us. As you can see, man, people are out here. It's like motherfucking like 50 degrees. Who knows how cold it is? My nuts hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but it feels nice on the right side if you know what I'm saying. Get ready. It's going to be an exciting night. I just want to point this out because this is sexy, right? You see that? It's like, ah, I just want to, I can't read too well. Words are hard. In the brightest day, in the darkest night. I've been here since nine. Just came off of work since like eight. You guys were the first people in line. What is it about injustice that just tickles your pickle? <laughs> well, I don't know uh, about it tickling my pickle. Another realm, uh, they made an awesome game with Mortal Kombat. I'm supporting them with this game. Also, trying to be an aspiring game developer. Okay. So, admire their work and their worth ethics. Yeah. Awkward pause, that's how we do it. I think it's kind of the appeal of just having all the DC characters together is really nice to finally happen. Well, I mean, it happened before, yeah. but to finally happen in a good game. Like, half the game is villains, half the game is heroes, so okay. it's a nice mix. I read somewhere that actually every hero's villain is in the game, so they have all their counterparts. Oh, okay. Or just about, at least. Don't quote me on that, but... <laughs> What a fucking nerd. I wouldn't even know half that shit. The fact that it's made by Netherrealm, okay. who, who make Mortal Kombat. DC fired again, that doesn't, you know, look like it sucks. Because okay. MK versus DC, it was bad. Okay. It was bad. So t to me, it's like, you know, the game that we really wanted. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, I can beat the living crap out of Joker as Batman, which is awesome. It's like everything that I need in a game. It's like... Mortal Kombat, which I grew up, uh, all my favorite superheroes coming together and fighting each other, like the costume design is just fantastic. Aquaman's costume is just phenomenal. I was astounded when I saw the gameplay demo. <sighs> awesome. Uh, I'm a huge comic fan, so I've been reading comics since I was a kid. I love fighting games also, so I mean, comics and fighting games in one. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Basically. It's like just your, your orgasmic dream. Absolutely. <laughs> What's unique about it? This game took a lot of time to make it uh, more adaptable to every fighting game player out there. Give you options in the game to switch the controls from like Street Fighter. The moves list yeah. is listed in the you know the character selection screen. It lets you know how many frames things are and how long and the description for each move. And that kind of stuff is useful for someone trying to get into a game. Let's you know right there what each move does. You know, playing a Street Fighter, you know, what the fuck's the Hadouken, yeah. right? Like, you don't know. Yeah. You don't know what it is. So. It's like, what's, the, what's this Kamehameha, a little fireball? Watching some of the videos, and you could, like, pull a pipe down, and you could free someone with the air. Apparently, it's, like, really cold. You can throw people on cars. You can. I mean, it just seems as though they're really kind of taking it to that next level of being able to actually, like, combo off of environment. It's pretty ambitious. I, I know they were trying to, like, add another level of uh, depth to the game. Fighting games is just, like, you know, they put you in a background, and you fight in between, like, you know, here's left and here's right. And they wanted to take a step further, different level of mechanics so people can kind of get used to seeing things outside the box. What are your thoughts on female in-game characters? Some female characters just kind of get me hot. How about you? Get me hot? Get me hot. <laughs> if they get you hot too, that's cool. We can do some later. <laughs> Harley Quinn's a little skimpy, little, okay. little, what was it? Voluptuous, maybe. I got that dirty slut. <laughs> Who is the hottest character in Injustice Gods Among Us? Wonder Woman. Tell me the feeling she gives you. Strength. Like, I, she is a strong person. I would want to be strong for her. You know, the kind of loving kind of attitude. Well, okay. Catwoman. Sexy. I don't know. <laughs> it's Killer Frost. An icy feeling, you know? One of those nice icy feelings. A nicey icy feeling. Yeah, okay. nicey icy. Are, are we talking like a cherry icy, or is it more of a blueberry feeling? More like a cherry icy. Okay. Um, you know. Because if it was blueberry, it just. Yeah, it would. It would it'd, it'd, be like a, it'd be like a striking ass pain. Yeah. I'm gonna say sexiest character is probably that cat. I wanted to do anything dirty to this character. Um, no, not yet. Now I gotta see how it unfolds. Uh, Catwoman. Man, she's bad, man. She bad? Yeah, she's bad, man. Okay. God damn. She bad? Yeah. <laughs> she bad. How bad? Bad enough. Lock her up. Lock her up in your dungeon. I mean, it's not a dungeon, but <laughs> oh, it's a closet. Harley. It's because like you have no idea like what erotic tools she's gonna bust out of her bag. Pretty much. Wonder Woman or Catwoman? I'm gonna give it to Starfire. Okay. Marvel though, it's gotta be Miss Marvel. Okay. Yeah. 
We'll go with Ms. Marvel. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Even though he doesn't have a dungeon, I will gladly throw them in mine. What are you uh, most looking forward to for Injustice? Um, Shazam. Shazam? How about you? Flash. A Batman. I'm going to say Star Lab. Nightwing. Out of curiosity, has anyone told you that you look a little bit like Harry Potter? I have heard that, actually. Thank you. I'll, yeah. I'll take it as a compliment. It's not there. <laughs> have there been any death threats against you? I mean, this is Mass Effect. We're at a fighting game. I'm mad, but what? It's, it's they were mad? Never. Well, no, not at me, just at Mass Effect. Oh. Yeah. Who's the bastards of Injustice? Cyborg? Okay, is so there any characters that just turn you on? Not really. <laughs> it's all good. Do I turn you on? <laughs> Sorry, bud. I tried. I tried. What's up with the hat? Is this like a new kids on the block look? What's going on? Is there anything like you notice that us San Franciscans do, us West Coast people do, that you're just like, what the fuck is that? I mean, shit. It's a lot of weird shit out here, but... <laughs> Everybody likes the cannabis, so <laughs> gotta go lower. Sorry, high, this high problem, guys. Are we are we good? Just make sure you get the kneecaps too. Sexiest character, I have to ask, who turns you on? In injustice yeah. or injustice? Hey, out of injustice. Well, I mean, if you want to let me know who turns you on in the real world too, you can you can tell me that. I mean, she she, she got a Twitter. Real quick, uh, uh, sorry, guess. Not, not good with <laughs> <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? What's up? I could like wrap it around my cameraman and me and then I can just like open the rope and like have my come interviewer in. come in. Exactly. We have the, uh, the whole like post thing that would just bring them out and, like oh. step on in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could be like come into my dungeon miss. God. Was that bad? Uh, it's a standard GameStop. So. <laughs> standard, standard GameStop etiquette. That's how we roll. Come to our dungeon. I got you. Enjoy. Come to our dungeon. Thank you so much. Yeah. Free chains. Uh, that. Oh shit. Gotta represent man. I, I, heard, I heard something down there. Where's your utility belt? Oh, uh, it's back home. Okay. I don't want to bring out everything. It's still okay. No. It's fine. It's it's more it's, it's more than okay. It's more than okay. Feel about Halle Berry's performance in Catwoman. It had a little bit too much of the Halle Berry and not enough of the Catwoman. I got you. But she's just, just a little bit a little bit of this. <laughs> a little bit of that. How did you get into the cosplay scene? Was it just something that you saw one day and you were like, oh my god, that's freaking awesome. Like, what the fuck is Pikachu doing walking down San Francisco? I mean, are you even into fighting games at all or? Uh, I play some, a okay. little bit. Yeah. What do you mostly play? Uh, Farmville? A lot of game developers, you know, I'm not going to mention who, but you know, they put a lot of lazy work into their stuff and okay. they just market it. 343. Three. Go ahead. 343. Three. <laughs> just keep going. Why are you here for Injustice? Uh, because I like Injustice. You know? Oh, I didn't see the Superman! Okay. Yeah, I just, I'm all about the DC Comics. You know? One liner to describe Injustice. Godlike. Godlike? And I got, God, God is in the title. Okay. Are you religious? No. Okay. <laughs> atheist? No, I, I don't know. Okay. Wait, 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 you don't know if you're atheist? No, it's in the air right now. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, oh, atheism is in the air? I am really interested in dressing up and, like, have making oh yeah you are oh yeah you are you back that thing up girl <laughs> is there any interesting moments that have ever happened for you here in san francisco you occasionally get a bouquet of flowers they're just all anonymous nope they they're like hey i bought these for you or we get sometimes we get coffee where the fuck are my titties I really wish power girl was in it i really hope she's in the dlc you're probably gonna hate me but deathstroke <laughs> not my biggest i feel like we could have slid someone else in there that was way cooler you know like mr freeze like you like me, Miss Nintendo. I know that. I feel like m my. Yeah, we should. We, we should. We, we should just be quiet. I don't know. We should be quiet. He might go away. And go into the visible plane. That's he true. won't see us. Yeah, he will. You guys just met at like a Walmart. <laughs> you know, maybe like one of you guys cooked dinner, and he's still playing the game, and you're like, "Babe, dinner's ready." He's like, "I'm not done yet." Woman, I'm not done yet. Is there anything like that? Yeah, that's 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 a frequent occurrence. <laughs> Just when you came out here to get injustice, do you feel anything sexual? I honestly do not know what games you play to get you this feeling. Okay. Um, I tell you right now, <laughs> uh, you know what? I 
the, the, I guess the Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball, why not? You have a very just pleasing persona about you. He, he does. I just, if you don't mind. <laughs> it's so nice. It's just, it's so nice. I can feel it. Is there a special place in your heart for like midnight releases or just like being around gamers? And if so, what is it about gamers? Why do you even care about these people? Because there's some nerds out there who, let's just be honest, man, they'll just be like, oh shit. I am a gaming nerd. And I think that's mostly what does it. I grew up with video game nerds. My dad got me into like Doom and Quake. Being able to talk with other people um, about that culture and all that kind of stuff is just, I get my, my nerd dosage for the day. I smile and wear cute costumes, that means I'm not a nerd. So. You know what it is, it's just the guys, they're salty because they ain't got titties. That's why. Well, some guys have titties. I'm going to have to bring some gold and just like drop coins and you guys can like follow me to my dungeon. We could do that. Okay. Yeah. Follow Google Dungeons, always a good plan. <laughs> it is, man. <laughs> Alright, jeez. There's creepy Gandalf walks by, he never comes in. But he just looks like Gandalf, and he, he just walks by, and he just looks in the store. Yeah. And, I, and I, I always look back, I'm like, Gandalf. And one day, I really hope he comes in, yeah. because I want to tell him that he looks like Gandalf. Okay. Does, does he walk, does he bring his staff? No, but I one day, you know, I hope Frodo's behind him. Yeah. You know, I just, I pray for it. I was going to say, next time he walks by, you should, like, cast a spell, see what happens. I should. I'll start yelling at him in Elvish, and I'm sure he'll respond. I guess just the things they say when they're playing, you know? Okay. It's always fun to watch people playing games because they get really mad, and <laughs> then you oh, 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 what happened. Yeah. Like, it's like a lot of those rage moments. Yeah. I I'm going to tell you, like, they haven't found the nerd gene yet. You guys going to be doing, like, the 24-hour session. You guys got the Red Bulls lined up. You already called into work. You're not coming in. Your sister called you, and you're like, sorry, I can't babysit your child tonight. Like, I got to play Injustice. I like your hair. Hmm, thanks. I like it's your hair. <laughs> You're so nice. I'm just balls deep hype, I guess. Okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Just balls deep. Might as well. All right. I feel like you would produce some great nudes. I just want to say that out loud. I just, I don't know why. What? Thank you. You're very welcome. I think it's the hair. It might be the hair. All right. We're, fuck that shit. On the internet. <laughs> Google Plus. No, what the fuck's Google Plus? Foursquare. What the fuck's Foursquare? Instagram. Nope. You can find me on Tumblr. MySpace? I'm not going to give you that, though. Okay. MySpace? My I'm back on MySpace, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wait, so MySpace is coming back then? No. Okay. But I'm back there because it's got music. <laughs> Always loved Mortal Kombat. I even got the fight stick. Um, definitely getting Injustice. Mad Cats? I got the real Mortal Kombats. Like, the gold one that the came... The gold fight stick. Yeah. Wait, not Mad Cats. No. No, the, the hardcore one. So. Oh, Mark, you're going to watch this. That's Where can people find you? Got Twitter? Uh, yeah, sure. Twitter, Facebook, whatever. All over the internet. Google it. It's okay. there. Google what we don't know. Oh, man, it was an interesting night. Cold as shit. It's like 45 degrees. Can't feel my dick. I just want to point that out at this time. Thank you. Thank you.